Hi Pisces, this is your April mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. The first spread is going to be on love. It could be new love, love from the past, existing love, whatever comes up. Spread number two is going to be some good news for you Pisces for um, the uh, second half of April. And uh, in the third spread we'll see an advice for you Pisces uh, for the remainder of this month. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is on love um, in the second half of April. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by Strength. Uh, we have the Fool. Then we have uh, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Devil. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Cups with the Lovers and the Star. And uh, we also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Capricorn, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Virgo. Well, Pisces, a very, very symbolic reading. It's like the cards we see in the main spread on the left will eventually transition or transform into the cards we see in the, in the uh, potential outcome. At first, I think this connection will be based mostly on passion. <laughs> mostly on passion. But then, uh, you know, slowly but surely it will transition into something more loving. Okay? But I think it starts as a very passionate... Uh, attraction, physical, more of a physical type of an attraction. It's going to be kind of like, you know what, let's just, let's just do it. <laughs> you know what, let's just uh, try this, see what happens. We, we have feelings for one another, we feel this attraction towards one another, we feel this pull towards one another, let's just, let's just do it. <laughs> but then it will transform into something more loving and sensual. Right? Um, let me give you... Let, let's just talk through this, right? We have the Ace of Swords clarified by Strength all the way to the left. Uh, strength could be a Leo you're dealing with, but Strength could be a card of pure, raw passion. And the Ace of Swords, in this case, is saying yes to passion. Saying yes, let's, uh, let's jump in. Yes, let's uh, do this. All right? In the potential outcome, the first card is the Ace of Cups. Another Ace. Right? But the Ace of Cups is all about true, genuine, authentic love. The Fool right next to the Ace of Swords could be an Aries here, you know, but with the Fool card, you're just maybe just pull, fooling or playing around a little bit. With the Fool card, you may not take it seriously right away. The Fool is a card of very being spontaneous, you know, just jumping right in, right? And I think the Fool eventually becomes the star right next to the deck. You know, the star could be um, an Aquarius here dealing with, but the star is a card of a wish come true. You know, but, and the thing about the star card, we people usually plan ahead. Uh, or maybe it will be a realization on your part or your, both of your parts that this is actually what I always wished for and hoped for. It's actually a wish come true. All right. We have the Queen of Cups in the middle right there, qualified by the Devil. You're the Queen of Cups here. I think it's a safe assumption. And uh, the Devil <laughs> is eventually going to be transformed into the Lovers in the middle of the potential outcome. You see those two cards even kind of look alike. In both of them, we have two people at the bottom of the card, right? But the, And also, in both of them, we have the Devil in the Devil, and we have uh, the Angel or a Deity uh, in the Lovers. But uh, essentially, it's the same energy. It's the same type of a connection, but it transitions, transforms into something more beautiful. The devil, in this case, is most likely all you know, physical based. It's that that it's that a natural pull you may feel towards one another. And the pull will remain, but uh, it'll be different. The lovers is a you know, it's the love of your life, that type of an energy. The lovers, in my opinion, is also the best card when it comes to the actual love connection. It's a soulmate card, it's a twin flame connection card, and it's just a fantastic card. We also have the magician on the bottom of the deck, so it's all about manifestation. Perhaps it's just a matter of eventually realizing that you, what you've been manifesting is actually here. <laughs> Right, the magician could be either Gemini or Virgo you're dealing with, by the way, but the, it is a card of manifestation, and most importantly, it's a card of taking action. So, um, I don't think it's going to take too long for this transition to occur, from what we see in the left to what we see in the right. All right, but uh, this looks awesome. Really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, Pisces, for uh, the second half of April. We have the 901s clarified by the hangman. We have... Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. 
Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think this is money coming your way. This will only resonate with you, Pisces, if this is some kind of a compensation coming your way for something that happened in the past. Or maybe if you got hurt in the past. I'm not predicting, I'm not saying you're going to get hurt. But if you did, it could be that. It could be some sort of a payment, right, for you getting hurt or for you uh, maybe not getting what you deserve, okay? Because we start with the Nine of Wands clarified by the Hangman. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior, and that would be you, because the Hangman clarifying that is one of your major arcana cards, all right? Um, the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of... Uh, Maybe you had a lawyer fighting on your behalf, or maybe this is what you were fighting for, to get the money, to get that compensation, and here it finally comes. The Knight of Pentacles in the middle, that's, that's it, right here. For most of you, it's simply money. Or maybe just an initial payment, and then it could be like a structured payment plan. Or maybe it's, um, it's a promotion or a raise, and perhaps they were supposed to promote you or give you a raise in the past. They didn't, but this time they will. And since it's the Knight of Pentacles, there could be like a little bit more than, than uh, what you're anticipating because they made a mistake in the past. You're the Queen of Cups here. Okay, male or female? Absolutely doesn't matter. So I think it's money coming your way. All right? Cool. Here's an advice for you, Pisces, um, for uh, the remainder of this month. We have the Six of Cups, uh, the King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and uh, the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You know what I keep hearing, Pisces, is whatever you and this King of Swords already did in the past, it's worth repeating. <laughs> it's worth repeating. All right? Because this person is either uh, somebody from your past, or um, maybe if it is a new person, maybe you can do something you've done in the past, depending on, on uh, who this King of Swords is. Uh, so it could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or maybe the King of Swords is somebody who, like, very intelligent. It could be somebody perhaps you hired in the past, and maybe it's, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to hire them again, or maybe if another person is unavailable but uh, you still want to do something you've done in the past reach out to this king of swords i don't know but this is definitely either somebody from your past or what's the advice has something to do with the past right we have the six of cups which is a card from somebody from the past and the will of fortune could be interpreted as a card of a repeat of a cycle a repeat of a cycle a repeat of something or maybe go somewhere you have already been in the past all right, uh, the Page of Pentacles could be you literally paying this person for something, or maybe the Page of Pentacles could be like tickets to a show, tickets to a game, or tickets to get on a plane, or get on a train, get on a bus, or, <laughs> or something like that. All right, um, yeah, and it's definitely worth it. That's what I keep hearing, Pisces. All right, so yeah, that's uh, what I have for you for this reading. For this time period, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And um, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing rest of April.